If you have a dog with allergies, you absolutely need to be documenting those allergies so that you can keep track of what's going on, so that you can pay attention to when the cycle reoccurs, especially if it's seasonal related allergies or specific location or environment related allergies. You also wanna make sure that you can talk to your vet or an allergist about what's going on with your dog and having that documentation to show the progression, to show when things start and change and how they're evolving is going to be so instrumental to getting answers, to being able to help your pup. So documenting your dog's allergies is incredibly important and there are three main ways to do it. The first is through photos. So if you're seeing physical manifestations of these allergies, be it your eyes, ears, skin, whatever, you need to be taking photos to document it. And you can do this on your phone or you can do this with an actual camera, but your goal is to have it inside of an album. You wanna make sure that you keep these on your phone in an album so that they're accessible whenever something happens. You wanna keep it all in the same place. And the beauty of this, whether you're taking this on a camera or on your phone is that those photos have metadata attached to them. If you swipe up on your photo on most phones, you will have that metadata there. It'll tell you the date, it'll tell you the time, it might tell you the location. So you're gonna be able to get valuable information from this. You wanna document what is going on with that physical manifestation in the form of pictures. You also wanna do video. So having both video and photos are gonna be really helpful. A still photo that is clear and not blurry and not pixelated allows your vet to kind of zoom in and see more things. But a video also shows multiple angles and kind of allows you to show it in real time, in real light. You wanna make sure it's again, well lit and what not pixelated at all if possible so that you have that documentation there. But when you do the videos, you can also get the environmental factors. So if you are kind of paying attention to your dog's skin allergies or eye allergies. Also swipe a little video of the environment, both inside and outside, so that we know what it's like. You may determine later on that your dog is allergic to the grass or to pollen or to a certain type of pollen or a certain location or a certain temperature is giving them some skin issues. By having that environmental factor involved with it, you can easily look back when you are going a month out, two months out, seven months out, a year, two years out. As you're documenting this, you're going to be able to start noticing some overlap and some things that are going to start ticking off the boxes of reoccurring every time these things pop up. So documenting through photos and videos and then keeping them inside of an album on your phone is really, really valuable to you. But you also want to make sure you're writing things down because photos and videos are not gonna capture everything, even if you're narrating what's going on inside of the videos. So you wanna create some kind of note system. This can be a note on your phone, this could be an Excel sheet where you're putting in the information, but you wanna document as much as possible. So we are talking date, we're talking time, time that we're noticing things, time that things are evolving. You wanna make sure that you're documenting in words what you're seeing and what you're experiencing. So if it's hot to the touch, or if it is red and it's growing, or if they're itching it a lot or a little, you can have your own system of scale from one to 10 to say how itchy they are or where they're scratching. And all of this information, the more you can give yourself, the better it's going to help you to classify this later on. And again, this can be just for your own records. I know with my Gemma, she has severe allergies. In fact, all of my dogs have always had allergies from ear to eye to skin to food to environmental to all of those things. We've had them. But Gemma is particularly allergic to absolutely everything in life. And so noting when things are happening in our time frame is really valuable to us because when it rolls back around the next time of year for the environmental allergy issues, I'm going to know, okay, this is the time of year that the pollen shows up. This is the time of year that the grass starts growing and being a problem. This is the time of year that she gets extra itchy and it usually lasts for this long. If it's beyond this or if it's different than this, maybe I need to contact my vet. But if it's the same, if it's part of the pattern, now I know to expect it, what to expect, and when I need to start getting concerned because it's not from the very beginning. So the more documentation you have from the minute you bring your dog into your house and start noticing these things, the better you're going to do. Now, I do recommend that as you're documenting these things, as you're noticing these things, do not delete things if they magically clear up. Just because an allergy is there and then goes away doesn't mean it's not going to be part of a cycle. Like I said, a lot of these are seasonal. A lot of these are reoccurring. A lot of these are environmental. And when you know that in the past it happened and it lasted this long and then it went away, that's going to be 
so much of a stress reliever for you because when it pops back up a year, a year and a half later, two years later, you know, oh, we've been through this before. Let me match up these photos and see how the progression's looking. And you can pinpoint a lot of valuable information from having that documentation. So I've had issues or instances with Gemma where things have kind of like popped up like little blips on the radar. And I keep that on my phone. I keep that documented just in case I need it. Just in case maybe it's nothing. Maybe it's nothing at all. But maybe it is something where if I have that track, that can give us more information in a few years when it becomes a different kind of issue. So I very much like to have those records, to have that information. And you don't necessarily need to keep it all on your phone all the time. So if you're getting these little blips every once in a while, you can get like a jump drive, something you can plug into your phone or your computer, and you can store it on there. So you're not taking up your valuable phone space, but you still have access to it should something trigger alarm bells with you later on where you actually have to go to your vet and have those conversations. So making sure that you have that documented through photos, video, and written documentation, again, as much as possible with easy keywords to search through things is going to work to your benefit. You also may want to plug in some information on a calendar that is unrelated to your everyday life work calendars. You might want to have that so you can just scroll and click. That is entirely up to you. I'm typically, for me, I do the words, the written words and documentation with the dates and all the information and the keywords and the taglines. And then I have the photos and the videos, but you can go as expansive as you want or as little as you want, as long as you have that documentation, should something arise in the future. And this doesn't just go for allergies. This is anytime they get sick, anytime they're off, anytime there's something different. Have that documentation, keep it in a separate folder, a separate note, a separate something, just in case you discover a couple years from now that this is some kind of pattern and you want to do a bit of investigating. So take as much notes as possible. Make sure you are documenting everything. And in the future, fingers crossed, you won't need it. But if you do, now you have all that information. Follow along for more daily videos helping you navigate the world of dog parenthood. So together we can help level up your pup and make sure with the tools and the resources and the education that you are giving your dog, you are living your best dog parent life. We drop videos on documenting your dog from your photos to your videos, to traveling, to training, to enrichment and more here on the channel. So we'll see you then.